He's the, he's the expert. This is Thompson's company that made, I think, a billion euros last year, so this is a shambles. Well, it is Britain's biggest holiday company. It's not some you know, a little family-run operation. This is happening in their main um, holiday base in Mallorca. I couldn't believe it. Honestly, it was like carry on abroad. I expected when I went over there to find Sid James and Hattie Jakes and Kenneth Williams coming round the corner. Well, you shot minute. this uh, for uh, us. Yeah, so, and, and so, so how, how, uh, is it going well, to be? They is, say it's going to be ready on, on Wednesday. Friday. Don't they? Yeah, they say it's going to be ready on Friday. I think it will be. I think it's going to be absolutely lovely when it finishes. But it certainly wasn't finished. And the crucial thing is, as Terry and Melanie told us. Everybody knew about this. There was stuff coming out on social media a week so before it was due to open. Go? I don't know. Honestly, um, I can only imagine that they were being told by the company. It's not a Thompson-owned hotel. It's owned by Alua Sol uh, Hotels. They were told by them it's going to be ready. And then the night before, they were told that... They were um, let down. Uh, yeah. And you um, would have thought maybe that the Thompson's reps who were there on site would have contacted the main office and said, guys, it's, it's not going to be finished. You would have thought so, particularly since there was so much fuss and there were so many people getting really agitated. This should have been a holiday of a lifetime for lots of people. I met a lovely nurse called June, her friend Sarah. They'd actually been on a bus which had gone to the hotel, unloaded all the bags. The manager of the hotel came out and said, you're not staying here, go away. Oh, no. Um, well, the, the, the pictures of what it should look like, what one day it will look like, are yeah. absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is sure. what everybody booked. Yes, of, of course. And, and uh, it, it's oh. going to be a really, really nice place when it finally um, opens. The Turners there were talking about compensation and how they would like to see their money back. I can't see how that won't happen. I mean, well, that seems the, the, the least uh, they could do, surely. Uh, you, you would think so. Um, what Thompson have been saying to all the people that they've been rebooking, and it's not just the people like Terry and Melanie who were uh, disappointed turning up on opening day and then being moved away. It's also the people who, in, in the interim, have been saying, what's going to happen to our holiday? And the typical pattern is they've been phoned up the, the afternoon before and said, you're not going to where you thought you were going to. Um, here's 40 quid. We're going to put you somewhere else. <gasps> And that is what the standard offer has been. And is that OK? Can you, uh, well, you just have to swallow um, that? Well, I've talked to ABTA, the Travel Association, and they say, um, if you, first of all, if you're not happy, talk to the company direct. If you're still not happy, get in touch with us. But I must say, the way that this very, very good, big company has been handling this episode is deeply shocking. I'm absolutely so appalled. What about, so as you say, it, there is, it is allegedly going to be finished on Wednesday. Oh, um, yes. And so, uh, so if that is the case, you know, if you've got, if you're, you know, sort of about to set off to the airport now uh, and, and going to that hotel and you still think it's OK, well, what, what happens? Well, there'll still be hordes of people still ploughing into an unfinished hotel. Uh, no, I mean, I'm pretty confident. I've, I've, I've uh, been in touch with Thompson over the weekend. They say it is going to open on Wednesday. So if you are booked to travel there on Wednesday, you will go there. I'm sure it will be open. You will have a lovely holiday. Um, the whole thing won't be finished. They're going to open one bit and then the rest. Oh, um, and then once the main holiday season starts, I'm sure it will all be working all up right. to speed. But it's just all those poor people who've been having a miserable, miserable time, um, a nightmare experience when they should have been having a dream holiday. All right, thank Tom's you. Tom's to say we'll be contacting all customers affected to offer a suitable alternative free of charge and we'll prioritise those due to travel first. We appreciate this is disappointing, so we're com closely monitoring the situation while our hotel partner completes the work to the standards that we and our customers expect. Thompson would like to remind customers that, that we closely monitor the progress of work at all the hotels we op operate. Um, and, uh, and that situations such as this are rare. Mm. Uh, right. thank, thank you, you, Terry and Melanie, for joining us. Thank you.